Hey guys, welcome. My name is Jennifer Dixon. I own Thrive Yoga and Wellness and I am a coach here with Fitter. And in today's video, we'll do a relatively quick yoga and Pilates inspired workout that's going to target those tummy muscles. And also I want to do a little bit of upper body, like shoulder mobility work with a little bit of upper body work too. So if you have some really lightweight dumbbells and or um, wrist weights, you can use those. I've got a two pound bar. If you have one of those, you can grab it too. That'll be later for some of the upper body mobility work. But just like in any true Pilates class, we're gonna open up with some hundreds. So go ahead and get grounded down on your mat. Find your bony landmarks. That's the backs of the shoulders pressing into the mat. That's sacrum pressing into the mat. If you notice my knees are bent, it's kind of cold here where I am today. So to have my legs out long would make my back a little cranky. So press those hands into the mat, pull those shoulders down and away and draw the belly in and up. I like to think about pretending to tuck that belly button underneath my rib. It's a visual that helps me really get into the transverse abdominals or in yoga, it's that Udiyana Bandha. From here, we're gonna bring those knees into the chest. Go ahead and give them a squeeze. It should feel pretty good. And I like to rock around a little bit, make some circles with the hips, maybe do that opposite directions with the knees to confuse the brain. Just really kind of starting to open up and wake those hips up. From here, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the hundreds. So squeeze the knees in and take them out to a tabletop position. Bring your chin to your chest, roll it up, gaze this towards your belly button, and reach those fingertips towards the heels. And let's start to pump. We're gonna inhale two, three, four, five, and next up two, three, four, five. Keep rolling those shoulders down and away from the ears as you endeavor to sit up even taller. Here's a third one. If you want, you can extend those legs out to a high diagonal, heels together, toes apart. Here's the fourth. And then you can play with lowering them down. Now, what likes to happen is people love to lock their knees and lower their feet all the way down. Guess what? That kind of takes some of the challenge away from the core. So soften the knees and maybe bring the feet up a little bit higher and try to do it that way. It's a lot more effective in the core. Let's do another three inhales. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Can you sit up higher? Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Two more, inhale. Sit up a little higher. Keep gazing towards the belly button. Last one, inhale. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. It should feel really good. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Rest your head. And now we're gonna build onto those hundreds with a little bit more leg work. So go ahead and press those hands into the mat beside you. Bring your chin to your chest and take your knees to a tabletop position. If you can, you'll take it out to 45 degrees. Now pretend you're on a reformer and we're going to <clears throat> have those heels together, toes apart, and then bend the knees in and then press them out. Bend the knees in and press them out. Endeavoring to wear your high, high heels if you can. Here's three, five more. In, out, in, out. In, out, I can't count, so we got two more. <laughs> One more. Beautiful, bring the feet together, pretend you're bird on a perch, but that foot bar is going along the arches. We're gonna do the same thing for eight. Get those feet together, knees together, seven. Sit up a little taller, six, and five. Press it down and away, four. Your belly should feel this, three and two last one awesome bring the knees in bring them in squeeze up rest everything down now we're going to go to the last two foot work exercises if we were on the reformer who's going to pretend to have those heels on the bar i just thought you might like a little break for the neck all right so if at any point in time your neck your your neck and your head get a little tired i guess it wouldn't be your head it'd be your neck upper chest you can let the head go so from here, remember, gaze towards the belly button, extend those knees out to a tabletop position, have the feet together, toes together, flexing those toes like you're reaching the pinky toes towards your face. Bring your chin to your chest if you're, if you're ready for it, draw the navel in, no TP belly buttons, and let's push the carriage away and bring it in. Endeavoring to have this reformer work on the mat. It's so difficult. We got five more, here's four more, and three, 
two. Come on, last one. Push it out. Nice. Now we're going to come like we're doing tendon stretch. So toes, pretend the toes are on the cracks of the bar. Push the bar out. Flex the feet. Point the feet. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Sit up higher. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Last one. Bend the knees. Rest the head. Give yourself a squeeze. Hallelujah. Those are done. Now we're going to pretend, pretend to do a little bit of low core exercise. So plant those hands down to the mat and reach those feet towards the sky. Now what's going to want to happen is your feet are going to want to go up and overhead as if we were doing like short spine on the reformer. Instead, let's do a little bit more like a corkscrew prep. So press those toes up like you're trying to punch out a ceiling tile. Maybe you only go up an inch and set it back down. We're going to do that in five, six more times, actually seven. Up, down. This is so hard, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Three more. Up, down. Last one. Up, actually two more. I cannot count. Up, down. Now bring those knees in. Give them a squeeze. Nice. Now, if going up and overhead is not your jam, just keep doing the exact same thing that we were doing, raising and lowering those feet. We're gonna try to build on to this little hip press up and as if we were doing a short spine, but not quite because we're here on the mat. So, go ahead and let your feet come out to a 45 degrees. Inhale, using that same lower abdominal muscles to help lift your feet up and take them overhead. Bend the knees 90 degrees. We're gonna do some froggies from here. So press it up and down. Press it up, down, up. Five more, down, up, down. Three, up, down, two. Nice, last one, down. Now hold this shape as you slowly lower down, upper back. Middle back, lower back. I think I said hold the shape and I did stretch instead. Bring the heels to the seat. Let's do that again. Push the legs out to 45 degrees. Use the lower abdominal muscles to lift your legs up and overhead. Bend the knees, froggy those feet, froggy those knees. We're going for six this time. Five, four, three, two, last, one, nice, bend the knees to 90 degrees. This time hold the shape, belly in, belly in, hold the 90 degrees. It's so much more difficult for the belly. And then heel to seat in the last minute. Last one, take those feet out to 45, up and overhead to this plow pose if it was yoga. Bend the knees, 90 degrees. Have those heels together, toes apart, press it up for four. Trying to get those feet straight up, three. I have a hard time doing that, two. Last one, beautiful, hold the shape, lower down, upper back, middle back, lower back. As soon as the sacrum hits, let the feet go into a tabletop position. Chin comes to your chest, Whew. elbows bend. So for coordination, inhale, press those hands and feet out, open the legs, close the legs, bend the knees, bend the elbows, sit up a little taller, push it all out, open the legs, close the legs, Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Last one like this. Open, close, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Now we're gonna do some heel wraps, so press it out. Right foot over, right foot under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So much longer than we really want to. Give me two more, one more. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, rest the head. Holy smokes, that was awesome. Now. Remember how I said we would do a little bit of open, opening for the shoulders and um, warm up for the, for the upper body. So grab your weights. I have, again, it's a really lightweight pole, two pounds. You're going to bring it, first of all, enjoy a nice little stretch because the core should be fairly warm. Bring that, either your dumbbell weights up and overhead or have your weighted pole facing straight up as if you were doing a push-up or a bench press. From here, make sure that belly is in, those bony landmarks are pressing into the mat, so that's your sacrum, low ribs, shoulders. 
Now what we're going to do is reach the hands up and overhead, but only so far over your head as you can keep those same bony landmarks pressing into the mat. So if you start to have space underneath your back, you've gone too far. So make sure sacrum presses down, low ribs press down. You can have a little bit of space in your low back depending on your own natural curve, but we don't want to have a big rainbow. You ready? We're just going to move through this a few times. So let the hands go up towards the heavens, pull those shoulders down into the mat, belly in. Press down through the big toes as we keep the powerhouse nice and stable and really start to open up across the shoulders. You should feel this a lot in the lats. So again, you only let the hands go overhead as much as you can keep those lower shoulders, sacrum bones down into the mat, that low rib cage press down into the mat. Draw the belly button in, hold it here, another breath. It's like a little weighted stretch. Now inhale, draw, using your lat muscle, bring this up. That's your angel wings, I call them your angel wings. Two more just like that. Lower that bar, the dumbbells down. You don't even have to have weights. You can do this without any weights. The added weights just add a little bit of challenge, and I kind of like it. Hold it here. Remember, body landmarks still pressing into the mat for another three, two, one. Use your lats. Draw your navel in and help use your breath to bring it up. Last one. Let the pole come down. Let your weights come down or just let your hands drop. Keep drawing the navel in, keep pressing the sits bones, not the sits bones, the sacrum down. If your shoulders are helpful because they're ever so helpful, try to encourage them to take a little break. Get them down and away from your ears. Last breath here, we're holding it a little longer. Beautiful work, inhale, and then push that bar out on the exhale. Beautiful work. Now options, depending on how much work you wanna do, you can give me some little presses, creating that resistance because two pounds is not very heavy so you should feel pretty good while doing these little presses and or you can just hold it up here depending on your own strength here in the upper body nice now we're going to do some mobility work so this is almost like reverse corkscrew on the tower so pretend you're at a um, arcade and you're in one of those race cars so turn your weights to where they're vertical or your bar to where it's vertical. Now go ahead and really reach that right shoulder towards your right hip. Shimmy it over, get a nice stretch along the left side body. Since we're laying down, we don't have that core work component, but don't worry, that's coming. Let's come back through center and let's do that on the other side. Left hand down, right hand up, make it a little vertical pull or the, the dumbbells in line. Squeeze the left shoulder towards that left hip. Building on here, breathe here. You should feel a stretch along the right side of the body and some strengthening along the left. Let's come back up through center. And then you guessed it, we're gonna do a reverse corkscrew. So go ahead and sit yourself up. Now, if you don't have vertical poles to hold into, that's a little more difficult. You can also, if you have straps, hold your feet down with straps. Or you can endeavor to really make those hip flexors work really hard, press those feet just down into the mat. So have your weights, have your, your weights, your pole, whatever you've got, and you can also do this without any weights. And we're gonna to turn towards the left so that you can see it. My vertical pole is now vertical, and we're gonna do this reverse corkscrew. Lowering down here on the left-hand side, coming through center, Turn the pole to the right and raise yourself up. Try to keep those toes down. That's a half of one. Let's come down onto the right. Going back through center, twist, and come up on the left. That's one, just two more. Notice my chin is tucked. I make a big capital letter C, really trying to massage those, those innards, if you will, on the way down and on the way up. These are so awesome for the obliques. Lowering it down here, through center. Coming up here on the left, squeeze that left side oblique. Last one, through center. Take it up and overhead, beautiful. Did a little bitty detour from a reformer work, but I kind of wanted to keep working on those obliques a bit more. Now. Pretend that you've got super glue on those feet. Those feet are not gonna come up off the mat, and they may, but we're, th we're energetically thinking they're not. We're gonna inhale, hold those weights out in front. Remember, you want lightweight, that's totally fine. Now, 
hinge back about 45 degrees. Now bring those weights in towards your chest and push them away. In towards your chest, push them away. In and out. There, that made me want to think of a sort of sword in the stone song. Here's four. Let's do three more. Two. You should feel your core on fire. Last one. Nice. Now sit all the way up. So that's sort of like the rowing to the back, but not really. <laughs> now we're going to have the palms facing up. We're going to do a little bit of bicep curl with the core work. You ready? Press down through the big toes. Hinge back 45. Now have those elbows in line with the shoulders. Give me the bicep curl for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Draw that navel in. Last one. Nice. Use the core to sit you back up. Nice. Now we're going to build on and get a little bit overhead. So since this is more upper traps into the shoulders, you can drop your weight, especially if you tend to hold a lot of stress up in the top part of your shoulders. No need to add to it right now. This is supposed to be fun, right? So for this one, I'm going to have my hands a little bit closer together. Have my hands closer together, my elbows go out wide. And you can hold your dumbbells closer together, or you can hold your poles closer together, or you can just hold your hands like this. All right, you ready? So the hands fairly close together, hinge it back 45. Now this gets into the triceps a little bit differently in the shoulders. Bring it into your chest. If you want, press it up, sit back more. Bring it down back to your chest and shoot it forward. Into the chest, press it up to the sky. Into the chest, take it forward. That's two, chest, sky, chest, forward, chest, Sky, chest, forward, chest, sky, chest, forward. Press down with those big toes. This is six. Try not to let the feet come up. Try to keep out of those shoulders. Nice, proud shoulders, I mean chest. Last one, bring it into the chest. Press it up towards the ceiling. Now hold those, hold the hands up, hold the hands up. This is really hard. I'm starting to shake for another three. Two, one, keep those weights up and overhead and do your sit up with the hands up and overhead. Holy smokes, that was pretty awesome, right? <sighs> awesome in that crazy sort of way. All right, so now we're gonna do one more, trying to get into the triceps up and overhead. Remember, the further back you sit back, the more this is getting into the core and the hip flexors. Uh, the, the further forward you sit, the less core and hip flexors, but then you've gotta get deal with hammies being open. So I have my feet nice and, nice and super glued to the mat. I'm gonna reach those weights up and overhead. This is gonna be fun. Hinge it back 45 degrees, but don't let the ribs flare. Now we're just going to bend the elbows um, and have the hands reach straight back and then straighten. Bend and straighten. Come on. We're just doing eight. That was three. Halfway there. Gaze is forward. Three more and two last one such sneaky little core work it's the devil isn't it awesome stuff all right so from here let's stretch out the core and start to cool off let's bring our little mermaid tail in stacking the knees stacking the ankles my right hand is grabbing hold of the ankles i'm going to bring my left hand up towards the sky my left bicep is my earring and then i'm going to lean towards the right it's going to be really easy to flare the ribs out, but that gets creaky in the back. So keep the ribs knitted in, belly is knitted in, and reach towards the right. This should feel pretty amazing in the left side body. I like to play with the range of motion in my neck here, looking down, and then maybe see what happens as I look up. Keep that belly in. One more breath in. Now take that left hand down to the mat. Gently press the right hip down towards the mat. It may not ever touch as you reach the right hand overhead. It's like a nice opposing stretch. For this one, we can go right back to the way we just were. Right hands holding on to the stacked ankle, left hand reaching up and over. If you wanna get a little more thoracic twist, we're gonna to pretend to hug a tree. Reach that left hand forward, really reach it forward. 
So it's a little up over the shoulders, but it's mostly like hugging a tree towards your right. You'll feel this. Oh my word, I feel it all over that left side of my body. Breathe here. One more. Beautiful. Take that left hand down. Last opposing stretch. Right hip presses down. Right hand reaches over. I bend my left elbow ever so slightly. And this time we can kind of do this small thoracic movement if it feels good. This is kind of our cool down. Press that right hand back. Press it into the mat. Maybe give me a little can-can up over to the other side. Now stacking those ankles on top of each other. Left hand's gonna hold on to the ankles now. Take the right hand up towards the sky and let's do our little mermaid. Channel your little aerial. Reach the right hand up and over as you really, really press that right hip down into the mat. You should feel a tremendous stretch along this right side body. And again, do whatever feels good with the neck, whether it's looking down or looking up. Again, I like to play with that range of motion here and feel how it changes the stretch ever so slightly as I look down, then look up. Make sure your ribs aren't flaring out. Draw that belly in. One more. Let's oppose this stretch. Right hand down. Pressing that left hip down. Reach that left hand up and overhead. Let's do that one more time. Again, you can go right back to the same stretch we just did, holding on to those ankles or you can reach the hand up and overhead, and then as you go to the left, you give yourself a big hug, like there's a tree in front of you, and you're welcoming it into a really big hug, reaching that right hand forward. Elbow is a little bit above the shoulder, so we can keep that height going on. And you can have your chin down, you can keep that, that rotation happening, only gently with the cervical, as you bring that left, the chin towards the left shoulder a little bit. And only if that feels good. One more breath, belly in. Now releasing this, take that right hand back down to the mat, pressing that left hip into the mat as you take your hand up and over, maybe a little twisting action. Should feel a little better this go around because it's the second time we've been here. Nice. All right, releasing this, go ahead and crisscross applesauce your feet. Thank you so much for joining me in today's session. I hope you had fun in this yoga inspired Pilates mat reform. I don't know, it was like a smorgasbord of good fun stuff and trying to incorporate a lot of stability exercises for your core, as well as opening up a bit across the chest and building some strength in the upper body. My, my name is Jennifer Dixon. I own Thrive Yoga and Wellness in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm a coach here with Fitter. And if you have any questions or if you have any videos that you'd like to see or any exercises you'd like to see, definitely leave me some comments down below. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.